all right welcome back to the big country youtube channel and today we got some more stuff we need to do to the honda we are still waiting on the dyno room to get up and get completed so we can get this thing back on the dyno but while we wait we i came up with an idea to do something a little bit different on the chain and sprocket with this thing this is a pretty interesting subject. It's going to drop us a little bit of rotating weight, which ideally is going to make us faster. So here's what I got in theory. Well, I say in theory, I know this is going to work because if I post this video, then it definitely worked. If this doesn't work, then I'm just going to scrap this video. But anyways, right now what we have, I thought we had a 17 up front and a 42 in the rear. That is what I thought that we ordered, but we didn't. So 1741 is what's on the GSXR that we run stock wheelbase. And I was going to go with a 1742 to give us just a little more uh, a gearing so because we have less horsepower. We know we're not going to make quite as much power as the GSX-R, so we were going to add it with gearing. But what we got is a 16-tooth front sprocket. All right, so now that means our 42 is way too much gear. And... On top of that, we can't tighten our chain up. We're back all the way. We have not cut this swing arm yet. That is something that we might do in the future, but that's still not gonna take up that much slack. Plus we got way too much gear on there. So I said, no problem. This will be perfect because we'll just put the 17 tooth front sprocket on, right? Wrong. 17 tooth front sprocket for the CBR 1000 back ordered. I'm not sure if it's discontinued. Nobody can seem to get me one. So I got to thinking, I'm like, well, what's my other alternative? So I thought, I thought, I thought, basically my whole car ride home after being told that I couldn't get this 17 tooth front sprocket, I said, okay, what if we use the 16 tooth? And I put this together, guys, I said, a 16 tooth is smaller in diameter than a 17 tooth. So what's that mean? Lighter weight. Okay, well that's a good start. But we got to get this sprocket way smaller to get our gear ratio way down. Okay, a 42 is going to be way too much. Okay, so take into consideration a 1642 would be the same thing as a 1745, okay? 1745 on a stock wheelbase, probably gonna do a spin a rooney okay? Not what we want, not gonna be fast. We're not gonna do nothing but wheelies. Big Country does not wanna do wheelies. Big Country wants to go fast with this CBR. Okay, so I got to looking. Well, guess what the next problem is? Look, we don't have much room right there to go any smaller. So I did find a 39 tooth and a 40 tooth sprocket from Vortex that we can swap over, okay? So I got those in today. So here's my other theory though, once I come up with this, okay? Smaller front sprocket, less weight. Smaller rear sprocket, less weight. And guess what guys, it's gonna slide our rear end back further. I mean, we're gonna have to cut more links off the chain. So we're gonna run lighter chain, lighter sprocket, lighter sprocket. So we got all that stuff off and guess what come in? Literally my 17 tooth front sprocket that was back ordered and we couldn't get. So we decided we were gonna make these changes. <sighs> So anyways, let's go ahead. If you had this set up, a 1742, which is what we feel like is ideal for the Honda with the horsepower it makes for my weight, stock wheelbase. 
All right, 42 aluminum sprocket, 17 tooth front sprocket, and a 520 chain. Obviously they're all 520 sprockets also. I'm gonna have to write this down because I mean, we're gonna be getting into fractions of ounces here on what we save. But remember, this is rotating mass. So whatever we save, you're gonna multiply that by seven pounds of dead weight. All right, so our rear sprocket, 8.3. I have to write this down because I am not gonna remember what this is. It's gonna get super confusing. There's gonna be a lot of math going on. Big country's not real smart or good at math. 17 tooth driven 520 front sprocket, 7.9. I'm even gonna write down front and rear. <laughs> Ain't gonna trick me on this. All right, 520 chain. Now, keep in mind, we're gonna be using the exact same chain, but since we're going to two smaller sprockets, we're gonna be cutting the chain and making it shorter. So essentially taking links off is gonna be ounces off. Look at that, four pounds exactly. I don't know how we did that. 4.0. Ah, that's confusing as crap, guys. Chain. All right. So now we're going to get this on there. We're going to measure and weigh our sprockets. And then we're going to have to cut the chain and see what it weighs. So let's go. We got the sprockets right here. Go ahead and get this out of the way. 16 tooth front sprocket, 7.2. Look at this, 7.2. So now this is just fractions of ounces, I guess is what we're gonna call it. So we lost 0.7 of an ounce. All right, so a little over half an ounce there. Not a big deal, but you take in consideration what that is when we add all this up at the end, it's gonna be huge. Our rear sprocket, 7.2. Five. All right, so there's our numbers. I'm gonna take and go ahead and get this chain fit up and then we'll come back and weigh it and then we'll do our calculations and see what kind of total weight we saved. And uh, I think this is gonna be pretty big. I mean, this could be potentially equal to a couple pounds of dead weight off the bike just by making a sprocket change. got the chain cut we got it fitted up this is exactly what we want it took about one link off of it all right so three pounds 14.8 i ain't gonna lie i measured this before camera and it was three pounds 15 ounces so we're gonna rock with that because i already did all the math and everything for that so basically our rear sprocket we lost 0.8 of an ounce our front sprocket we lost 0.7 and on our rear i mean our chain we lost one ounce total so that comes out of two and a half ounces so two and a half ounces times seven pounds of dead weight would be a little over one pound 17.5 ounces off on this conversion which is equal to one pound dead weight whenever you're doing rotating mass so is that a huge deal probably not but one pound off the rear of your motorcycle is a pretty big deal um i don't know if you're actually going to see any differences but this worked out because we could not get the front sprocket for the cbr in time so we came up with this so we're going to be able to get this thing on the dyno and make it work and it's a little bit lighter so now we just got to go ahead and get her put on and get this puppy on the dyno
right, guys, we got the CBR back on the dyno, but we're about to save that for another video. Brand new dyno, the Honda, the first machine back on the dyno. It was the last one on the old dyno and the first one on the new dyno. So we're gonna get the dyno all set up and then in our next video, we're gonna see the horsepower gains from the Honda. But until next time, y'all be sure to check out all of my sponsors, Brock's Performance, More Mafia, Coromoto, go to bigcountry.shop and you can see them all right there. But until next time, y'all be sure to keep it country.